Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to start building a power-up brick, or whatever you want to call it, um, a brick that falls down and does something to the paddle or ball. So we'll start a new class called power-up, and it, like other classes, uh, needs to know some stuff, and so we put that information in the fields. It needs to know its location in space, so the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. It needs to know how fast it's supposed to fall when it gets hit, so we'll call that direction in the y on the y-axis, or like you know, speed on the vector, the y vector. Um, and then it needs to know uh, what type it is. So like, uh, there are going to be two types eventually. Um, oh, private int. And then it needs to have uh, private boolean called is on screen to keep track of whether or not it's fallen off the screen and if it has it needs to be uh, you know we need to do something with it and it also needs a private boolean called was used so that as it passes through the um, paddle I don't even know if we need to do this maybe we should remove it as soon as it's yeah let's just remove it as soon as it hits the paddle instead of doing that that was an earlier way I did it so we'll say is on screen um, and let's see, uh, it needs to know its color, so private color, color, and we have to import color into our class, so you can just hover or you can just type it in, whatever. Um, then we're going to set up these uh, public static final ints to keep track of its type, so final static int uh, wide paddle, we'll say. And we're just going to set that to 4. We're gonna, so remember, the bricks are hittable between 3 and, like, 3, 2, 1, 0. So we'll start this value at 4. And some of these things, these systems, there are uh, slicker ways to do these things, but it's a little more work. And so, um, not because we're being lazy, but just because we want to keep it as simple as possible, we're going to do it this way. So I'm just going to do 2 at first. How about... We do wide paddle and fastball. So, and we're not necessarily going to implement these things right away, but we'll have two potential ones. And then we need to do the same thing with uh, color. Colors for, um, ah, no, we don't. Um, do we? We may have to do that later. Um, let's give it a constructor, public power up and we need to take in some information so int x start place where it starts int y start int the type so that people when they create these things can tell us what type it is int the dy how fast it's gonna fall and uh, I think we need to do width and height to it and put that in there so, the width, int the width, and int the height. And so we need to have those things as fields also up above. So we'll have width, height. And the power up is going to be able to draw itself. So public void draw, and like usual, we use the graphics 2D tool that uh, draws our entire game. So we need to import that into our class. So import graphics 2D from Java Aut. And it also needs to be able to update itself. Public void update. So when it starts to fall, it will, like when it's activated, it will uh, fall down the screen. And there are going to be a bunch of other methods like getters and setters. But for the time being, class is starting, so we'll just flesh it out to that extent. Uh, okay, more later. Bye.